if you dispose of something in the water or things, you, we can find it. Rick Pullen has been a diving expert for over 40 years, which is why Monroe County detectives called his team when they needed help locating evidence here in Tobihanna State Park. We're here to prove two things. Either we find the evidence or we prove where it is not. And that's our function. And anytime we can help local PD, that, that's what we do. Two phones were found earlier today. Officials can prove they are connected to the Monroe County Courthouse bomb threats. One from October 1st and the other from the 6th. We found a first part of the first phone in less than five minutes. Uh, I have a very dedicated team, but very well trained. <laughs> the team of five divers began searching waters early this morning using high-tech methods to locate the phones in murky water. We have search grid patterns that we use and plastic fixed grids that we use to search for smaller items uh, down to as far as uh, rings and, and uh, stuff like that. So it's, it's everyday stuff for us. Luckily, with the help of phone providers, detectives have been able to locate the radius of where the calls may have been made, making it easier for the divers. Thankfully, we had, we had good information um, from the cell phone companies. When the calls were placed, they were able to give us a very exact location as to where, you know, where the call was placed from, where the handset was located at the time, um, which put them on the beach here. The entire search hasn't been cheap. The detectives have used thousands of dollars to find the suspects and had to switch gears from other cases the department was working on when a bomb threat was made. Every time one of these calls goes in, we kind of go into everything else comes to a screeching halt, and now we have to focus on this call because that information is timely. To be completely sure, detectives will continue investigating older bomb threats to the courthouse that may not be connected with the most recent string of calls. Call from May 7th and the call from June 11th, we have not necessarily been able to tie to these individuals. Um, those are the calls that originated up in Lackawanna County. So investigation into those calls is ongoing.